Imagine you're driving along a highway when all of a sudden, looming large in the distance, you see a giant teapot. But getting closer, you realize it's not a teapot at all, but it's a building shaped like a teapot. This is novelty architecture, where buildings are designed to look like something else, often mimicking everyday objects or animals. And in the 20th century, the US had loads of examples of these kinds of mimetic buildings. So what are my favorite examples of novelty architecture in the US? Let's find out. Before we get started, a couple of caveats. Firstly, all of the photos you're about to see were taken by one man, a man named John Margulies, who throughout the course of several decades documented roadside architecture in the US. Nowadays, the photos are held by the Library of Congress and are all in the public domain. The album containing these photos is a collection of over 11,000 images. I don't know if all of these places still exist and I've done scant research about a few of them, but I scoured through all 11,700 images to bring you my top 10 pieces of novelty architecture. Let's go. Gas stations seem to be a hotspot for novelty architecture, which probably has everything to do with being eye-catching enough to pull motorists off the road and into their business. Number 10 on this list is the Hat and Boots gas station, Washington. I think the Hat and Boots are now actually in a park, but this gas station had a bright red hat and a pair of giant boots. A recurring theme for my love of novelty architecture is the union of form and function. So this is a great place to start. In this case, look how the wide-brimmed hat acts as a covering for the area around the station. Not even soaking northwest rain is going to make you wet underneath that visor. And what's inside the boots? Storage? A bathroom? If you've been here, please let me know. I mentioned teapots in the beginning, so I better deliver. There are a few examples of teapots and coffee pots in the US, but my favorite of them is Bob's Java Jive, which I can only assume is a coffee business. This pot honestly looks big enough for an entire family to live in, and there is something whimsical about the thought of living in a giant teapot. Is that in a fairy tale or something? Or am I thinking of the old woman who lives in a shoe? That's right, number eight is a shoe, but it's not this one. This is the Haynes Shoe House in Pennsylvania, which was apparently built as a giant advertisement. It is a real house though, and has a living area, kitchen, bedrooms, and presumably a bathroom. But what's even better than a shoe built to advertise shoes? A shoe built to repair them. I'm pretty sure this shoe repair shop is still around in Bakersfield, California. And if you're a local, I'm sure you'll let me know. Do not ask me why, but number seven on this list is Joe's International Rock and Gem Shop. This is the only photo in the collection of this shop in Utah. And for some reason, it just fascinates me. Can you go inside the giant rock? Is that a drink machine? What else is in there? I want to see the gems, Joe. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't exist anymore, but if anyone visited while it did, I want to hear from you in the comments. We have finally got to our first animal on the list, although it's not the most impressive one. This is apparently a car wash, and in keeping with the aquatic theme, it's shaped like a whale. This whale wash is in Oklahoma, and given that this is the only photo of it in the collection, it left me with some questions. If you drive in the mouth, do you come out the same hole that you went in? Or do you drive out the rear hole? And speaking of driving into holes, California has blessed us with this brown one. Jokes aside, this is actually a fantastic idea for a donut drive through Does it even matter if the donuts are good or not? If your drive through is flanked by two giant donuts, you've got my business already. At number four, we're at the pointy end of the list and the competition is heating up. And Dog Bark Park rises to the challenge. This is a giant beagle that seems to actually have a habitable living space inside. 
there's also a smaller dog that I can only hope has a doghouse version of the same thing inside, but who knows. This place I actually found on Airbnb. You can stay there if you want, it's in Idaho. Look it up after the video. For me, this is what novelty architecture is all about. It's an apartment, but it's inside a giant dog. Why is it inside a giant dog? Doesn't matter. Number three are dinosaurs. These two specimens are some of the most impressive buildings on the list. Just look at the size of that brontosaurus. Many pieces of novelty architecture are created with a steel frame with concrete molded over the top. And this might just be the most impressive sculpted building that I've ever seen. Now, I did a brief bit of research on these dinos and found a strange coincidence. Despite being at either end of the country, both of these dinosaurs have been used by their owners to spread a religious message. One website I found about this little guy said that inside the dinosaur, where the heart would be, is a picture of Jesus. And inside this chunky one is apparently a gift shop which espouses a creationist timeline. Interesting. Number two on this list is the United Equipment Building in Turlock, California. The bulldozer-shaped building serves as an office for the company that owns it. Looking at this one just makes me happy. The ease in which a rectangular building is transformed into a bulldozer. A heavy machinery company with an office this shape. Just how yellow it is. It's all fantastic and buildings like this make me wonder why this isn't more of a trend. Is it tacky? Maybe. Does it spark joy? Definitely. And number one, my absolute favourite building on this list is in the shape of an aeroplane. But before I show you, let me warn you. This is not the most impressive building on the list. In fact, there are more impressive buildings that integrate more impressive aircraft into their design. But the simple, humble, beautiful melding of form and function in the design of this little gas station in Tennessee steals my heart. Look at how the wing provides the cover for where the gas pumps would be. You go inside the fuselage to enter this little gas station. For me, it makes sense that this building is the shape that it is. And with just a few tweaks, like a rounding of the nose and the addition of the tailpiece, it transforms into an aeroplane. This is novelty architecture at its simplest and its best. These vernacular, cobbled together, but still entirely functional features make this an easy number one for me. And this little gas station has actually been restored recently and looks fantastic now. But that has no bearing on my decision to make it my favorite pick. So if you're interested, I'll let you look that up. So that was my top 10, but you might have a different opinion and that is great. Let me know in the comments which of these 10 was your favorite building and especially if you've been to any of them. All the links are in the description, including a link to the full album of over 11,000 photographs. Most of these images aren't even of novelty architecture at all, but are of other roadside buildings that Margulies found interesting. There's a slew of images about mini golf, for example, and a surprising number of pickled fish. And lastly, you might have noticed that this list was about novelty architecture buildings that you can actually enter and have function. Novelty statues, on the other hand, sculptures of oversized everyday objects, didn't feature on this list, and they might just get a video to themselves sometime later. I really hope you enjoyed watching and that you've got a newfound appreciation for mimetic buildings and novelty architecture. I'll see you next time.